When you buy a house, in addition to your down payment, you'll need to come up with money for what are referred to as closing costs. I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown of typical closing costs in Ontario. The first one, big one, land transfer tax. And if you're buying in the city of Toronto, you pay double because they have their own land transfer tax. And then you have lawyer's fees. Ballpark, $1,000 to $2,000 in disbursements. And then if you're buying with less than 20% down payment, you have CMHC mortgage insurance and you have to pay the provincial sales tax on that insurance premium up front on closing. The insurance premium itself can be built right into the mortgage and paid off over time, but the provincial sales tax has to be paid on closing. And then you have title insurance. Most properties, I'd say 99% of properties these days, the lawyers are using title insurance. It's a no-brainer. So let's use an example of buying a $400,000 house in Barrie with 10% down. So your land transfer tax will be $4,475. Your lawyer's fees, let's say $1,500, $1,000 plus disbursement. So $1,500 for lawyer's fees. Your provincial sales tax on your mortgage insurance. Your PST on your CMHC would be $691. And then you have title insurance. $250 for a grand total of around $6,900. A good estimation of closing costs is between one and a half to 2% of the purchase price of the house goes towards closing costs. So in that $400,000 example, your closing costs would be between $6,000 and $8,000. And there we were, right at $6,900. Some other costs you may run into are an appraisal fee. Your bank is going to want an appraisal done on that house. Whether you pay for it or whether they pay for it, that's for you to discuss with your bank. It's around $300. A home inspection. Now a home inspection isn't a closing cost because you do the home inspection when you first purchase the house. Roughly $300 to $400. If you're buying a property with an oil or a propane furnace, you may have to purchase a tank of fuel from the seller. What happens is, before closing, the seller will fill up that fuel tank and then you will purchase that full tank of fuel from the seller on closing. It's a lot easier than trying to estimate. Yeah, is the tank half full or is the tank three quarters full or how much is in the tank? They just fill the tank up and you pay for a tank of fuel from the seller. Can be, I don't know what oil is at these days, so tank oil maybe $800. Just be ready for that if you're buying oil. House with an oil furnace. Another one similar to that is a property tax adjustment. If the person selling that house has paid their taxes in full for the year, you have to reimburse them for the balance of the year that you own the house. So let's say you're closing in end of October and the guy has paid his taxes up until the end of the year. You owe him for that last two months of taxes. So say the taxes are $300 a month, that's an extra $600 you gotta come up with. So just think about that one and be ready for that one. Another one that's rare these days is the survey. Banks generally don't require surveys on in-town properties anymore, subdivision type houses, but on an out-of-town property they, may, they might require one, probably not, but they're around $1,000, start at $1,000 for a survey. So there's an estimation of closing costs in Ontario. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching my video.